Hi, I'm Carolyn from Seaside Slings and I'm going to talk you through the different birth to potty nappies that I've got available to hire. Unlike the newborn nappy kits, which I've done as one big kit and I've got four different kits, the birth to potty nappies, I've decided to do them individually. That way you can either hire a full kit of nappies if you want to use the, the nappies full time or you can just hire kind of five or ten just to test them out and see what you think. It also means that I can add in new nappies as I get them um, without needing to redo all the kits every single time. And if you hire a kit and find after a week or two that you're getting on with certain nappies and not others, then you can always swap out the ones that you're not getting on with as well for ones that you do like better. Each nappy is 50p or one pound to hire for four weeks. The ones um, that I put at 50p are ones that have been donated to me, so I don't know how much use they've had. Um, and then the ones that are one pound are the ones that I've bought new. Um, so I know that they're, they're a little bit newer and I know what kind of condition they're in. And that's the only reason for the price difference. I also sell nappies and I offer 10% off to people who have hired from me first. At the moment, I haven't got a, a huge stock of nappies that I sell because I'm just starting out with the selling, um, but I do have some and if you're hiring and there's something particularly really like, then you'd like me to get more in, um, then let me know and I can probably do that. I'm going to start off talking about the nappies I have to hire that I also sell so that if you're looking to buy from me after hiring and get that 10% off, you'll know which nappies those are that you can buy. So I'm just going to take you through the different brands and the different types of nappies and how to use them all. The first one is a Boba and Boo pocket nappy. This one, um, poppers shut on the front and it's got poppers down the front you can see so you can change the size. So at the moment it's on the biggest size. And if you use these poppers and put them down like that, then you can see it's a smaller nappy. And so that's the smallest size um, of a birth potty nappy. And then the popper schools at the front have different sizes. So you, if you need it bigger, then you can have it out here. If you need it smaller, you can bring it in. So this Baba and Boo is a pocket nappy, which means that you've got your waterproof um, bit and that's a pocket. So you can see at the back here, there's a pocket and I've got a booster in there. And so this is your absorbent bit. The Boba and Boo ones come with bamboo boosters and bamboo is one of the most absorbent boosters that you can have. Um, it does take a little bit longer to dry for that reason, um, but they're, they're really, really good um, bamboo in nappies. You can add an extra booster um, if you need more absorbency. So usually you'd want to hire some spare boosters with the nappies as well and eight spare boosters is 50p for four weeks. So I'm just going to stick both of these boosters in the nappy in the pocket, get them all straight and flat, and then you can see that adds on a little bit of extra absorbency. It's also got this double gusset, which I find really useful, um, and it kind of it prevents leaks from happening as much. So with each of your nappies, you'll also have a a fleece liner or you can use a disposable liner so I do sets of eight fleece liners um, and these this is a free add-on when you hire nappies so you would just want to put your liner in the nappy like that um, the liner just helps to wick the wee away from the baby's skin and it also catches the poo a little bit so that you don't get poo as much on the nappy so what you would need to do if um, if the baby's pooed and there's poo on the fleece liner is you would just need to throw that poo into the toilet before you put your nappy um, in your bucket or your bag to wash. So that's your Boba and Boo nappy. The next one is a close pop-in nappy. This one has Velcro fastenings, whereas the Boba and Boo had popper fastenings. Close pop-in also do popper fastenings, um, so you can kind of choose either or. I have got both available to hire. And it works in the same way as the other one with the poppers on the front to change the size and make it smaller. So this one, you've got your pop-in booster. So there's two separate boosters on there. So you can use both um, or you can just use the bottom one. 
then these pop in to the nappy so you can see they pop in on there and again you would put your fleece liner on top there you really want to make sure when you do this nappy up that none of the absorbent layer is coming out because that's where you can get leaks again this one has a double gusset you can see there which really helps with um, fit when you've got a velcro fastening nappy before you put it in to wash um, they've all got tabs where you can velcro onto it um, to make sure that that velcro doesn't get on anything in the wash so just make sure you always velcro those tabs together before you put them in the wash the next nappy I'm going to show is a Tot Spots Easy Fit Star. So this is an all-in-one nappy. Again, it's got Velcro fastening and it's got the poppers on the front to change the size. To put the Velcro down for washing on this one, this just folds into itself and it Velcros down there. So again, make sure that you've put, folded these tabs down before you go to wash them, otherwise the Velcro sticks on everything in the wash. So this is all-in-one, so as you can see, that it, it has got a pocket like the pocket nappy but it's all attached there um so you can because of the pocket you can add an extra booster if you need it so in the pocket you can add an extra booster in there if you feel that you need more absorbency and again you'd have your face liner down in there and you would do the nappy up with the velcro Next is a Tot Spots peanut. On the outside, it looks the same as the all-in-one. Um, same Velcro fastening, same poppers to make it different sizes. On the inside, you can see it's got these pop-in absorbent pads. So this will come off, you can see. And so it's got two, and again, you can use two or you can use one. So this is just a different type of Tot Spots. So I'm gonna put that one back on. And pop her that in. This um, outer layer of the peanut you can also use in a two-part nappy system. Tot Spots also do Tot Spots bamboozles, which is a two-part nappy. So this um, is just the absorbent layer. This is a bamboo nappy. Um, again, you've got the Velcro to fasten and you've got the poppers to change sizes. And then inside, you usually have that extra booster there but that does pop in and then you would put a fleece liner on top. And so you can use the wrap from the peanut to go on top of that. So that's why it's two part because you've got the absorbent layer and the waterproof layer separate. So you would just put that one on top. Um, and then you wanna make sure that the absorbent layer is fully inside the waterproof layer and there's nothing hanging out there because that's when you can get leaks again. Two part nappies like this, most people would use them at night um, because you've got that whole absorbent mitt there. It usually holds more wee for longer. Um, so most people find that they can use this nappy for 12 hours and it won't leak. Um, obviously if they've pooed, you'll want to change it, but this will generally last you all night long. Another two part nappy I've got available are Little Lambs. So um, this one, works in a similar way. It doesn't have any size adjustment. They come in different sizes, size one, size two, and size three. I've got some size ones in the newborn kits. This is size two that I've got available for the birth to potty hires. Um, size three, most people won't need, won't ever need size three. Um, your child will probably be potty trained before they get big enough for a size three. Some people with larger babies find they need size three, or if there's any reason why um, you're not able to potty train earlier, then you can move up to a size three. So this one's got Velcro fastening, and then again, you wanna fold that over for washing. And it's got this little booster inside, but that's not detachable, that stays in. And again, you would put a fleece liner in there. These ones, I've got the bamboo ones, and I've got the cotton ones, so it's worth trying both to see what you think. Cotton's gonna dry faster, um, but bamboo is going to be more absorbent, so it may last you longer. So it depends on um, if you've got a very heavy wetter. So some babies seem to wet through nappies quicker than others. I've got the little lamb wraps, which have the nice double gusset as well, you can see on there. And so that would go over the top of your little lamb nappy. 
And again, these are really good ones for nighttime. And again, I'll say, make sure that your absorbent layer is fully inside the waterproof layer when you put that on so that you don't get leaks. Another nappy option I've got from Little Lamb is a Little Lamb pocket nappy. Um, and this is a one size pocket nappy. So you've got the poppers on the front to change sizes and the poppers here, depending on how big or small you need the nappy to go around. So like I said, this is a pocket nappy. So you've got your pocket and you've got your booster inside and you can add another booster there if you need to. And then you would have your fleece liner as all the other ones and close that up with the poppers. Those are the four different brands that I've got available for sale. They're all um, British owned businesses and so that's why I like to have them in for sale. I will show you the other nappies that I've got available in the kit. Some of them are ones that I used on my own children and now don't need them anymore so I've put them into the library and some of them were donated to me. Um, so some of them are more widely available than others. But I'll show you the different ones I've got. This one is a Bambino Mio, and this one has Velcro fastening, and it's got, again, the poppers to change the size, and this is an all-in-one nappy, so like the top spots all-in-one, it's got this bit that comes out. But it is attached, it's all-in-one. But again, you can add extra boosters to that pocket if you need to. This one is a Malovia, and this one again has poppers to make it different sizes, and it's got the popper fastening. This particular one is a pocket nappy, so this one's got the pocket at the front, and you've got your booster inside, and you can add an extra booster. I do have some as well that are just a wrap, but you can put your booster just inside the wrap on top rather than in a pocket, and then put your fleece liner on top for both of those. This one is a Bum Genius, and it has got the poppers to make it smaller and a popper fastening. I do have some that have Velcro fastening on these as well. And this one is a pocket nappy. I do have some Bum Genius that are all-in-one nappies as well. This one is a green pomelo. I hadn't heard of this before, I had it donated, um, and I can't seem to find it as kind of readily available online, but it's a pocket nappy. These ones are probably more worth hiring for me if you want a long-term hire and you're not necessarily looking to buy, you just want to hire for a while because I've got quite a few of these. Um, it's a pocket nappy, so you've got your booster inside, you can add extra boosters, do your fleece liner, and then you can Velcro that back up and you can change the size with the poppers on the front. Yeah. I have a few other brands that I've just got the odd nappy here and there of, um, but they work in the same way as the ones I've shown, either pocket nappies or all-in-ones. I'm going to show these hemp boosters that I have that you can use to put inside um, a pocket nappy or an all-in-one with a pocket if you want a booster. So you can either fold it in half or you can fold it in thirds and you can put that inside the pocket. So hemp is quite absorbent as well like bamboo so that can be a good option if you need extra absorbency. So like I said you can hire the fleece liners, there's different types but they all work in the same way. You can hire the fleece liners with the kits and they come in sets of eight and they're free of charge add-ons when you're hiring nappies. I've also got vest extenders, which are free of charge add-on when you hire nappies. And that's just because um, cloth nappies can make your um, baby's bum a little bit bigger than a disposable nappy. And so sometimes you can't quite get the vests up around the nappy. If the vest, if you've had to pull it and the vest is quite tight and then it's pushing on the nappy, you can get compression leaks and it can be a bit uncomfortable for the baby. So um, you have these vest extenders, which just does what it says, it extends the vest so that you've got a little bit more space in there and you don't need to move up to the next size when it fits everywhere else, it's just around the nappy. So those are free of charge add-ons. You can also hire a set of eight boosters for 50p. 
Then there are wet bags. So often when you're using cloth nappies, you might have a bucket and you can see how the bucket works in my newborn cloth nappy kit video. I've got buckets with all the newborn kits and they've got two mesh bags that come with them. So you would put all your nappy, all your dirty nappies in and put the lid on top. And then when it comes to washing, you would just pick up the whole mesh bag and put it in the washing machine. I don't currently have buckets available to hire with the birth potty nappy kits, although hopefully I'll get those at some point. Um, but I do have wet bags. So you've got these really big wet bags that you can use in place of a bucket. Um, and so that's just waterproof on the inside. And you would put all your dirty nappies inside and keep it zipped up and that keeps the smell in. And then when you go to wash them, you just need to unzip the bag and put the whole bag in the washing machine so you don't need to touch the dirty nappies again. With things like pocket nappies and all-in-ones where you've got something in the pocket, you don't need to take those boosters out before you wash them. They will come out in the wash machine as they're spinning around. There's also a slightly smaller wet bag that you can take when you're going out and you can put your dirty nappies in there. There's two pockets on this one, so um, dirty nappies in there and then sometimes I might put some clean nappies in there or I might put clothes in there. Um, so you've got your two pockets on those wet bags. And then there's also small wet bags um, that you can use. Usually I use these for wipes. And so I'll talk about wipes now. I've got different sets of cloth wipes. So I've got quite a few of these boxes of cheeky wipes. Inside this box, there's 20 cheeky wipes. So what, we, what you would do with this box is fill up the water I usually find I just need to fill it up to the bottom line fill it up with water you can put in a few drops of essential oil I sometimes use lavender and chamomile or you can just use plain water um, and then you would put your wipes in make sure that they're all wet squeeze out any excess you can pour out any excess um, and then you can just use those at home and then normally when I go out I'll get my little wet bag and grab however many wipes I think I might need that day, put them in, um, zip that up, and then you can take your wet wipes out. I know some people um, take their cheeky wipes out dry and then they take a little spray bottle with them and they spray each wipe as they need it. Um, or if they're in, um, if they're somewhat with a the sink, then they can get it wet then, obviously. I usually just put my dirty wipes in with the dirty nappies and wash them all like that. With cheeky wipes you can get a, a mucky wipes box as well and I do have I think one or two sets where I have the mucky box as well um, but I've never really kept my wipes and nappies separate I just put them all in the same place and the last type of nappy I've got available to hire is a swim nappy so I've got a couple of these in size 2 and I have got one in size 1 as well this is a tot spot swim nappy and this one velcros there's no adjustable size um, and this is just a fleecy bit on the inside. So you would just put this on your baby before you go swimming. And then most pools will ask you to use a two-part nappy system. So this is the bottom part of the two-part system. And then you would need the neoprene nappy on top of this one. But it's really nice and soft. Um, and if there's been no poo in it, you can just rinse it off and use it again um, next time you go swimming. And so you don't have loads of disposables going swimming. You can just use that one. I've also got a few rolls of disposable liners that you can request to have put in a kit if you want to, that's at no extra charge. Um, so they just come off the roll like that. You would put that in your nappy instead of a fleece liner. Um, and then you would need to put that in the bin before you put the nappies in the wash. If it's got poo in it, you still need to throw the poo in the toilet and then throw the wipe in the bin. Um, so that's just another option that you can use. So that's everything I've got available to hire in terms of birth to potty nappies. If you've got any questions, please let me know. You can um, reserve your own birth to potty nappies online. If you don't really know what you want and you want me to put a kit together, then I can do that for you. As I said, you get 10% off nappies to buy after you've hired from me. I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions either before hiring or during your hire, then do let me know.